This is a 450-acre parcel, and grade-wise, it's very flat, and um, but it does slope in several different directions. So, the um, first alternative we looked at was a gravity system that would have uh, required several large pump stations to take the flow to the wastewater treatment plant because the wastewater treatment plant is located on the upper section of the property topography wise. And so uh, we laid out the whole gravity system and we're about to submit it to the county but the lines were many of them over 20 feet deep, 25, 26, 27 foot deep sewer lines in solid rock. We've been asked many times in our bids if we have a rock clause. We do. It's 100% rock. And so any time you can minimize the depth of your digging and not having to hit a certain percent grade uh, is a benefit. Trenching here is a bone jarring, tooth grinding uh, experience. I mean, you have to hammer every foot of every trench uh, or drill and shoot. So it's it's a it's really expensive, where the uh, you know the low pressure sewer system is you know you're talking minimal three foot trench depth right four inch lines not twelve or eighteen or twenty four or whatever you end up with uh, in a gravity system. The advantage to a pressure sewer system in this type of terrain is the only way we can afford to do it. Uh, you look at a house like the one behind me, and if all of their sewer system had to be gravity, you couldn't build the house. Well, you could, but it'd be not very affordable. We did a cost analysis of the sewer system alone, you know, would have been cost prohibitive. I, I would say it was 50% cheaper to go with the E1 system versus on this particular project, the gravity system and the large sewer pump stations. This project has a lot of archaeology and we are very sensitive to that and so um, if you're going down 20 feet there's more chance that you could find a lava tube that has artifacts in it so keeping shallow is a is a better way to go. I mean one of the the guiding principles it really was stewardship of the land and and that's taken many forms here but one of the key components of that is is a subsurface aquifer. We have over 200 ankylon ponds along the shoreline which are a unique and very sensitive environment with a lot of unique uh, plants and animals in them and and because of the nature of the ground here the the water that comes down from the mountain or down from Mount Malka and, and that enters into those ponds very concerned about any disturbance in that subsurface aquifer and with the relatively flat site and the depth of trench that we would have had to put in for a gravity system there's no doubt that we would have been into that subsurface aquifer and introduced if nothing else just the silt uh, from the excavation process. So that was a real advantage of using the low pressure system as it allowed us to go to stay out of that aquifer and protect it from any contamination or disturbance if only uh, during that construction process. Aesthetically I think too um, trying to locate a large sewer pump station on a project like this nobody wants to have their house close to it, right? Where do you put those kind of stations? Whereas the E1 they're so unobtrusive and you don't even know they're there. This um, system, it's all shallow, easy to connect to. If you have a lateral that needs to be moved, you're only going down a couple feet versus 20 feet. So there's a lot of advantages to having the E1 system. And the representative for E1 on Oahu came over and did a very thorough presentation on the operation of the system, the ease of changing out the pumps, all of that. I mean, um, that was a big consideration was maintenance and uh, operations and maintenance of the system, as well as constructability. So pressure sewer is the answer in Hawaii, at least on this island. I just think the E1 is a better system for a lot of advantages cost-wise, aesthetics, um, ease of connecting to a pipe later, uh, so many, so many advantages to have the E1 system versus gravity.